<laughs> Good morning, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. You've tuned into the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, with something stuck in my mouth, and I hope you're having a great day. We're going to start today's episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down and check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. I know you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me. So thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. And we are back. Big shout out to Neural Toyota, our title sponsor for today's episode. We really do appreciate your ongoing support. As everybody at home knows, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job at that than myself. So, sir, can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone at home. I'm Brett Tange, and I'm originally from Red Deer, Alberta, and I moved here when I was, like, three. Okay, there we go. Now i got to ask, you were in Carhartt. Are you into the trades, or is that just the style? Yeah, I'm into the trades. All yeah. right, what trade are we talking about? Yeah, I'm thinking of going in power engineering when I'm Okay, older. have you started, like, what grade are you in, sorry? I'm in grade 11, mm. yep. Have you looked into, started, maybe, maybe not the RAP program at all here? Um, so for power engineering, mm -hmm. like, you can't really do much of the RAP program for that. So oh, okay, okay, yep. so... You mostly can get, like, an undergrad for... Mm. Okay, so that's something you're thinking about getting yeah. into. Okay, because I back in the day, for people who don't know, Carhartt used to just be like, that's just workwear. Now, they're really like popular now. You see people wearing their hoodies and stuff all the time, but yeah. now you got to ask if you see somebody wearing Carhartt, like, you wearing it because it's cool, or are you wearing it because you're into like that kind of stuff? All right. Yeah. So how did you get into power engineering? How did, you even, like, how did that hit your radar? So my dad's a power engineer. Cool. Right? Awesome. And then he's been a power engineer since... Yeah, since you can I, remember. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So you moved here when you were three. So you don't remember anything else other from yeah. Fort McMurray, obviously. What was Fort McMurray like for you as a kid? Where did like you grow up in this this town? Um, it was nice. I grew up in like Timberley, right? We lived in like a like the trailer park up there. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we just went to an event this year up at the trailer park, Rock the Rails. Yeah. I've, are you still up there at all, or? Oh uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you know what Rock the Rails is? Yeah. Yeah. Are you into that kind of like, act like sport? I guess. Sport and or music. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. both. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, skateboarding, like yeah, BMXing, punk music. punk music. Yeah, it was a great event. Mike Jones, yeah. big yeah. shout out. So, as far as Santa's Anonymous is concerned, what do you mm -hmm. do with Santa's? Yep. So I am um, the sales team leader. So I am like in control of the. Um, most of the income that comes in. Oh, right? that's big responsibility. Yeah. How did you get that role? So um, I've been working at the canteen, right? Yeah. And one of the teachers, Miss Snippard, she um, is um, the person who runs it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got into that, right? And I've been doing it now for almost two years. Okay. Right. Okay. And it's basically just like selling stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. So they figured transferable skills. Yep. Let's talk about this canteen. There wasn't a canteen when I went to Father Merck here. So yep. first and foremost, explain like, is this open all the time for students? What kind of yep. snacks and foods do you have? Like, let me hear it, my dude. Yeah, so it's at lunchtime. Okay, only, right? okay. And we sell like, pretty much noodles, the only kind of lunch, right? Okay. And then we sell like a lot of sweets and like drinks like Crush and root beer. Iced tea, right? What kind of root beer? Mug root beer. Mug root beer, interesting. Mug root beer is a good root beer, but I still think like A&W. Mug is a solid yeah. second or third place. That's right, that's right, that's right. So what is like the top seller that you just like go through at the canteen? 
top seller is usually the ice cream sandwiches. <sighs> of course they would yeah. be, of course. Yeah. And so what kind of noodles are you, like, is this like a pack, like the yeah. cup of noodles? It's the cup of noodles. We sell the kimchi noodles and also the Mr. Noodles noodles. Well, what, what's the mystery noodle? Mr. Mr. Oh, Mr. Yeah. Noodle. Oh, it's just like, they're mystery noodles now? Like you put like the different packages? I bet you Pete Pete has those. There's mystery milk now, the milk to go. There's a mystery flavor. No. No, thank you. I'm not, I'm not rolling the dice. Did you know about this? No. Mystery no. milk? The milk to go. You know milk to go? Like you can get like the banana or the strawberry or whatever. They have a mystery flavor now. No. I have not been willing to try it. Weird. Yeah. I'll say it. Not, not, never going to try it. So how did you get this job at the canteen? Oh, so my friend Tristan, he now lives in BC. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, I was uh, good friends with him. Yeah. And one day, I stopped at the canteen to buy like a freezy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, there wasn't many people in there. And he's like, right. I, I could use some help back here. Oh, right? nice. Yeah. Right so on. After that, I kind of got into it. That's right. So, how many people work at the canteen, like in total? Yep. So, at the moment, we have uh, four people who okay. are currently like in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the Canteen is also used for like uh, volunteering for the sports teams so they could oh. get their money paid off without paying. Nice. Right? So Very at the moment cool. we have the volleyball kids in there. Very cool. So outside of working at the canteen, do you have a different job or does that cover yeah. your basis? Yeah, I'm, I'm all into basketball, right? Okay. I do house league after school. Okay. Yep. And d with the same program I do my house league in, yeah. I'm also a coach and referee for their games. Wow. So what, what position do you play? Yeah, I play uh, like kind of in the center, really. Okay, okay. Yep, as a big. Nice. Yeah. How long have you been into basketball for? Um, since I was eight. Okay. My dad put me in the program that was Aurora. And oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. And who's your, who's your team? My team? Yeah, basketball, NBA. NBA? Yeah. I'd have to go with the Raptors. Yeah, the Raptors. Yeah. So, like, I have a question. Tanner, feel free to jump in if you need to. Yeah. So when I was a kid, there was two Canadian teams. They were the Raptors and the Grizzlies, but they were expansion teams. Like I think I was probably I was a teenager when they. So like, you'd already picked your team by then. Like yeah. I, I'm Chicago, I'm Chicago, Chicago Bulls, game over, right? Yeah. But like now, when you grow up in Canada, do you have to say Raptors? You don't have to, but you should. Yeah. So it's like you got to cheer Raptors. Team. That's right. Yeah. And it makes sense to me. I'm just asking, like, because once again, didn't exist. I'm not bashing the Raptors. And they I don't have even... a lot of default fans too. Like, I don't yeah. watch basketball at all. That's I'm right. Sure for the Raptors because they're Canadian. That's right. Okay. So Raptors from day one was your your team. Yep, day one. So you will remember when it was pre Drake, the era of the Raptors. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that man really did just buy that team. Didn't he? Like he he's very involved, maybe from like a fan on the side helping with the design, like the marketing. Drake has helped. Did you like it before or after Drake? Honestly, both were fine. Okay. I, I didn't pay too much yeah. attention to the like politics of basketball. That's right. You're just watching the game. Yep. Cool. So, are you on this the school team here? I'm planning on going tryouts in, like this week. Ooh. Are you like you practicing? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what's your? We spoke to another athlete. Is there a superstition that you have when it comes to playing sports? Like, mm -hmm. the one the one we heard is like put the socks on at the same time, like same uh -huh. pace. No, certain way. Certain yeah. way. What? For me, yeah. my shoes gotta be tied tight. Okay. Yeah. What kind of shoes? Like for me. Yeah. It it doesn't matter if the shoes really. You like you don't have like a specific like Nike Adidas. You're no, just... I, I wear Under Armour shoes. Okay. At the moment, but oh yeah. I've swapped from like Converse, Nike. Yeah. High top, low top. Yep. Uh, high. High top. High top. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> Wild. So, for tryouts, what's that uh, process like now for you? Yep. So pretty much it's like skill development at the start. We yeah. do like layups and then like shots, mm -hmm. right? And then after like. We see like our um, athletic skill, yeah. and we go straight into like scrimmaging, yeah. right? And then our skill based on like our passes. And right. Our, okay. Yeah. Well, listen, I had more questions for you, but Tanner tapped his watch, so that means we're out of time. Mm -hmm. So before I cut you loose, though, you get a shameless shout out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. 
Yep. Yep. Shameless shout out or plug. So you gotta like say hi or represent or anything you want. You're up. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. So I'd like to make a shout out. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst.